In this video, we can discuss about antidiuretics. So, from the name itself, we can understand these are opposite of that of diuretics. That is why it is named as antidiuretics. So, these are the drugs which will reduce the urine volume. Here, we will discuss the definition, classification, mechanism of action, adverse drug reactions and uses and or indications of antidiuretics drugs. So, what is the definition of antidiuretics? Antidiuretics, more preciously, antiacortics because they will inhibit the water excretion without affecting the salt excretion. Also, the antidiuretics are the drugs that will reduce the urine volume, particularly in case of diabetic insipidus. Or we can uh, express or we can uh, define antidiuretic are the substances that help to control the fluid balance in a living body by reducing urination by opposite actions of diuresis or opposing the diuresis. About antidiuretics no anyale urine volume korakam indeed namala use in the drugs antidiuretics in the urine uh, volume ex urine excretion could in the conditions diabetic insipidus or conditions in a TTM and it on use Okay. Now coming to the classification of antidiuretics, it is mainly classified as antidiuretic hormones and analogs, natriotrics and miscellaneous drugs. Examples for antidiuretic hormones and its analogs are vasopressin or antidiuretic hormone which are produced by posterior uh, lobe of pituitary and desmopressin, leprosin and terlipressin are examples for antidiuretic hormone and its analogs. Now natriuretics, ure, natriuretics are the agent which will increase the uh, sodium excretion by reducing the uh, um, water excretion. So examples are thiazides like for uh, thiazides, chlorothalidone like uh, drugs then amylorides. Now miscellaneous drugs like carbamazepine which is an anticonvulsant then chlorpropamide and indomethacin. Indomethacin is an NSID drugs. So these are the uh, classification of antidiuretic drugs. Now coming to the one of the important drug which is used as an antidiuretic uh, is antidiuretic hormone. It is also known as ADH or also known as vasopressin. Now this is secreted by the posterior lobe of pituitary gland and the release of antidiuretic hormone is controlled by different receptors like osmoreceptor which are present in the hypothalamus volume receptor which are present in the left atrium, ventricles and pulmonary veins and uh, antidiuretic hormone and desmopressin are antidiuretic hormone agonist and usually the secretion of antidiuretic hormone will increases in response to the plasma osmolarity in case of hypovolemia, in case of hypotension. So, uh, in case of hypovolemia, there will be a decreasing volume of water level in the body. So, uh, if, if in, again the diuresis occur, again the volume of uh, blood volume will be, uh, water volume will be reduced. So, in order to prevent the excretion of water, antidiuretic hormone will be produced in case of hypovolemia and hypotension from the posterior pituitary gland. Now another antagonist which is used as an antidiuretic antagonist are demiclocycline and canvapatin. Now lithium which is used in bipolar disorder is an has an antagonistic effect of antidiuretic hormone but this is not used for this purpose. So these are the uh, uh, first uh, drug that is antidiuretic hormone. Now, this antidiuretic hormone will act through the receptor, antidiuretic receptor or vasopressin receptor. There are two types of vasopressin receptor, V1 and V2 receptor. 
v1 are found all the site except to the site of v2 and the v1 is again classified into v1a and v1b. v1a are found in the vascular smooth muscles including vasa recta in the renal medulla, uterine, visceral smooth muscles, interstitial cell in the renal medulla, cortical collecting duct cells, adipose tissue, brain, platelet and liver and v1b are found in anterior pituitary and uh, certain area in the brain and in pancreas. Now V2 receptor these are more sensitive receptor for antidiuretic hormone which are present in the collecting tract principal cell in the kidney uh, and which will regulate the water permeability. It, it, it is also present in the ascending loop of Henle cells and it will activate Na plus K plus co-transport which is responsible for the reabsorption. So uh, that is the another action of V2 receptor. Now this is also present in the endothelium which will produce vasodilation. Now coming to the actions of antidiuretic hormone, antidiuretic or vasopressin will produce different action in the different uh, organs. In kidney, it will act on collecting the principal cell and it will render them water permeable. So there will be a water absorption and uh, then it will leads to the concentrated urine uh, will be passed through urinary system. So it will uh, prevent the water loss by absorption. Now in case of blood vessel, the antidiuretic hormone will constrict through V1 receptor and it will rise the blood pressure and it can lead to hypertension and uh, in, uh, it will dilate the V2 receptor in blood vessel will be dilated through the V2 receptor by release of Na or nitric oxide production and in GIT the antidiuretic hormone, uh, hormone will increases the peristalsis and this can lead to the evacuation and explosion of gases. Now in uterus the antidiuretic hormone will be uh, uterus will be contracted by acting oxytocin receptor. And in central nervous system, this antidiuretic hormone may involved in the regulation of temperature, then uh, le uh, learning of tasks, etc. And now other functions such as uh, it will produce, it will induce the platelet aggregation, hepatic glycogenolysis, release of factor 8, von Wilden factor from the vascular endothelial cell through the V2 mediated response. So these are the different actions of antidiuretic hormone in the different organs. Now coming to the adverse drug reactions of antidiuretic hormone especially the uh, vasopressin. On a local application it can produce nasal irritation, congestion, rhinitis, ulceration and epitaxis and uh, it will produce some systemic side effects like blenching which means uh, the act of expelling air from the stomach through the mouth. Gas in the pole, we have feeling of blenching in the way. Okay, Bletching, belching in the way. So, that is an effect of systemic side effect, and it will also produce nausea, abdominal cramp, a pallor, argue to uh, defecate, back pay, backache in females due to the uterine contraction. So, these are the systemic side effect of antidiuretic hormone and it will produce uh, fluid retention and hyponatremia which may develop through the antidiuretic hormones. Now coming to the uses of antidiuretic hormone or vasopressin, uh, uh, both the antidiuretic hormone and desmopressin will reduce the urine volume and it will concentrate the urine and it is especially useful in case of pit pituitary diabetic insipidus. And it can be also used for the uh, treatment of gastrointestinal bleeding due to the portal hypertension and also for the treatment of wet wetting in children and nocturia in adult and it can be also used for renal concentration test and for the treatment of hemophilia and von Willebrand diseases which is a lifelong bleeding disorder in which the blood does not clot well. So here we can use AVP or arginine vasopressin uh, may check by releasing coagulation factor 8 as well as von Willebrand factors. So these are the uses of antidiuretic hormone. Now other drugs which are used as an antidiuretic hormones are natriuretics and miscellaneous agents. The natriuretics like thiazide diuretics as well as 
the sodium channel blockers which are in, uh, used as an weak diuretics we had already discussed the pharm in the pharmacology of diuretics so we will not discuss here in detail the uh, detailed uh, notes as well as presentation of this thiazide diuretics as well as amyloride antibiot uh, sorry diuretics are discussed in the another video now miscellaneous agent like carbamazepine uh, which is explained in uh, drugs which are used for the bipolar disorder as well as uh, for the epilepsy then chlorpropamide and indomethacin Chlor indomethacin is another drug which is used as an N uh, NSIDs by acting uh, by inhibiting cyclogenase enzyme and thereby it will inhibit the protein uh, sorry prostaglandin synthesis so that is the anti diuretic hormone the mechanism of action uh, classification adverse effects and uses of antidiuretic hormone hope it is clear thank you for watching this video